Good morning, everyone. I am Ashwin, and my team members are Bevan, Vaishan, and Sagan. We are here to represent our sustainable project presentation. Our presentation topic will be a substitute for river sand. Uh, this presentation is basically focused on river sand, how it is made, the ingredient it contains, its properties and uses, problems which are produced due to mining of river sand to the environment, and finally choosing the best solution alternative which will overcome most of the issues. This project will be important since river sand is a non-renewable resource and has a variety of uses and applications like in concrete making for construction purposes, therefore it will be required in large amounts to be produced. Furthermore, due to sand mining process taking place, there are many issues to the environment offered like coastal erosions, destructions of wildlife habitats, water pollution, air pollution, and many more problems do exist. Therefore, this project minimizes all these effects greatly, thus becoming very useful. Next, when looking at the ingredients of river sand, it consists of quartz and slip, which are renewable resources with 58.86% and 10.85% respectively. And then with raw materials like silicon, iron oxide, aluminium oxide, and other mineral ions, which are non renewable resources present at 1.66%, 4.22%, 17.11%, 5.05%, .05 and 2.03% accordingly. Moving on to the properties, river sand has high brittle strength because when crushed into pieces, it will be beneficial for construction purposes. Then it has a good workability where it can mix with concrete, cement, and other substances very easily. Moreover, it has a higher composite strength of 14.89 newton per cubic millimeters when mixed to produce concrete. Also, it has a good angularity with perfect shape and size fitting many uses. In addition, when tested on a maritime code BS6349 and BS812-2 for water absorption, evidence states its exposure is limited to a certain level. Next, when looking at durability, it has a quality which can last long and finally, it has excellent fineness unlike river sand. So construction defects like placement and post concreting is at its optimum initial and final setting times. Moving forward on sand production, sand is produced in five main steps. The first two will be material extraction and material storage. Then happens material transportation and material utilization with the consumption of fuel and producing waste harmful gases. Eventually, material disposal ends the process, producing waste and harmful gases as byproducts like carbon dioxide and oxides and nitrogen. Following on, the river sand has many uses and applications like it is suitable for all building purposes, used as fine aggregates in cement mode of production, usually available in unmixed conditions, and also a smooth texture with perfect shape and size, hence requires little water for construction purposes. Next, I would like to hand over the presentation to my colleague Baishan, who will be addressing on the problems of river sand and choosing the best alternative available. Baishan. Um, thank you, Ashwin. Now we'll be looking into the problem of the uh, river sand, where we'll be uh, mainly focusing on the ma sand manufacturing process, beginning with stage one, material extraction, where the problems are resource depletion like electricity, energy, and many more, water, air, and soil pollution during mining due to energy use, waste generation, release of gases, and many more. Water quality is affected by suspensions of solids. High sand budget since river sand is a renewable resource, therefore mining happens very frequently. Moving on to stage two, where material st uh, storage happens. Uh, problems are destroying uh, natural habitats and landscape and sound pollution. In stage three, uh, where the material is tra transported, uh, the problems will be the transportation cost, fuel cost, air pollution due to release of harmful gases like CO2, oxides of nitrogen, and large sand particles. At stage four, uh, material utilization, noise, the problems are noise, dust, tra traffic, pollution, and visually unpleasant landscapes. Finally, at stage five, material disposal, disposal the problems which are wastage of, of resources when demolishing buildings since sand, river sand is a non-renewable resource, uh, sound pollution, air pollution due to release of harmful gases like CO2, oxide of nitrogen, and large sand particles. And there are certain alter, alternatives um, proposed for this uh, problem, which are copper slag, bottom mesh, foundry sand, quarry dust, manufactured sand. Uh, and uh, copper slag mainly focuses on the problem which is high sand budget since river sand is an unrenewable resource therefore the mining happens very frequently and the next alternative m sand which focuses on the problem uh, sand and gravel mining in stream, uh, stream channels 
can damage the and public and private property and infrastructures. Bottom is uh, the the problem is resource depletion like uh, electricity, energy, and many more. Foundry sand prevents air pollution due to release of harmful gases like CO2, oxides of nitrogen, and sand particles. The best proposed alternative is M sand. Why M sand? Because there is no soil pollution, no air pollution, no water pollution since there is no sand mining happening. Public and private property are no, uh, no more damaged since no mining is in channels. Water quality is not affected. Sand budget is reduced by 50% com compared to mining. Noise level is low compared to mining. Dust produced is less compared to mining. Transportation and fuel cost are compared comparatively low. Truck traffic reduced to due to short transportation distances. Wastage of resources are prevented. And now we'll be looking into the benefits of M sand. Um, the first point I'm focusing is size, shape, and texture of concrete. Important um, play important role in workability of concrete. More surface area of sand. The demand for cement and wa uh, water increases to bond the sand with coarse uh, aggregates. The next point, the control over the uh, these physical properties of manufacturing sands makes the concrete require less amount of water and provide higher workable uh, concrete. The less use of uh, water also helps, the, helps in increasing the strength of concrete, less effort for uh, making and replacement of concrete and thus increases the productivity of construction activities of sites. Finally, um, construction defect during placement and post concrete, uh, concreting uh, sand as segregation, bleeding, honeycombing, voids, and capillarity. In concrete gets reduced by the use of M sand as it has optimum initial and final setting time as well as excellent fineness. Now will be, I will be handing over the presentation to Ashwin again to brief about the discussion uh, and the learning experience and the conclusion of our project. Ashwin. Thank you, Vaishan. Going on, river sand has many alternatives like copper slag, quarry dust, bottom mass, foundry sand, and manufactured sand. All of these substitutes minimize the problems caused by river sand mining in many ways. But when considering sustainability, performance, and problem reduction in environment, manufactured sand will be chosen as the best alternative available because it is sustainably better than river sand in many ways, like having the ability to mix with concrete in construction purposes, not affecting water quality, so no suspension of solids by mining, moreover, no damages caused to water streaming channels, means no destruction of public and private property caused, also no air pollution due to contamination of waste gases like carbon dioxide, oxides of nitrogen, and even large sand particles. Uh, also, minimum dust is be, uh, produced and ultimately low noise level and also manufacturing takes place in industries, so no public disturbances caused due to noise levels. Also, manufactured sand is better in performance than river sand because M sand is cubical, therefore higher cohesion and consistency, thus resulting in better performances. Absence of clay and organic impurities, hence better concrete quality is achieved. Also, I have compressive strengths, therefore improved quality in withstanding heavy weights. Moreover, use of less water, so higher production of strong workable concrete in construction sites easily. And lastly, construction defects are reduced due to excellent cleanness of material. Next, when looking at the learning outcomes, this project made us learn many new concepts both practically as well as theoretically. Firstly, we learn how to get together and do a project, then searching several resources and river sand ingredients, users, how it is made, collecting information about problems occurred, then finding alternatives, and finally comparing all the alternatives and choosing one best alternative after surfing about the features of the products available through web. Moreover, by participating in this project, we developed our critical and innovative thinking, team collaboration, responsibility, and our interpersonal skills. Furthermore, this project includes all necessary information about river sand and its substitutes, starting from first what river sand consists of to until its uses and applications. Secondly, presenting the problems and effects caused on the environment, hence finding a substitute which will overcome all the relevant problems being faced. Moving on, after searching resources, we'll be able to find a list of five alternatives which were able to minimize the effects. Finally, after studying further study and classification of all the alternatives, we concluded manufactured sand as the best alternative for river sand after considering all necessary factors like sustainability, performance, and many more. In that conclusion, I wish this presentation benefits and would like to thank all my team members who contributed equally in order to make this presentation a great success. Thank you.